Hi, I'm Gregory Davis, gynecologist here in Chico, California. Just going to talk to you real shortly about spinal anesthesia. We use that a lot in our surgeries for outpatient hysterectomy. And I'm asked the question frequently by patients, well, is this like an epidural? Well, not really. So I'm just going to explain the difference real briefly between an epidural and a spinal. Now, don't, you can laugh here, but my drawings are pretty poor when it comes to uh, anatomy here. But So if you look from somebody from the side, here's their back, here's their bottom. So if we look, you've got your spinal cord that comes down. And of course you have your vertebrae and the vertebrae, you have nerves that are kind of coming out and they're going to the rest of your body. Well, what happens is that you have this space right here and that's an epidural space. It's a potential space. It's like the walls of a balloon, but if you put some air or water in there, it's gonna separate. Now, beneath our skin, we have some fatty tissue in there, we have some muscle, and we have some fascia. So when they do an epidural, fortunately, you don't wanna see the needle, but it's a pretty good sized needle. And so the needle is a little bit bigger and they're trying to, when they put it in, they're going into this epidural space, pushing in some saline. And then when that saline goes, it separates and fills. Then they feed in a little catheter. So this little teeny catheter comes in here and then they pull that big needle out. Well, if you block a nerve anywhere along its path, it's gonna be numb from there on down. So an epidural is for ladies who are like in labor or somebody that needs pain control for several days. You can leave this little catheter and give, give patients medication and it's gonna to continue to work. When you're done, you just pull the catheter out. But when you're having a spinal like we do for our, our uh, laparoscopic outpatient hysterectomies, they're using a really small needle. I mean, it's like a 25 gauge. That's, that's what you use to draw blood on a little kids. So our anesthesia guys are using not only a small needle, but they're also using a needle that looks like the end of a pencil. It's not like a regular needle where it's got a point and it's sharp and the hole is on the end. The hole is actually on the side. So when they're putting that in, it's just one that comes right through here and it comes right into the spinal canal. They put the medicine in there and they, they're done, they take it out. It literally takes our anesthesiologist like five or six minutes. The beauty is, and the concern everybody has, is they go, well, I hear somebody gets spinal headaches. Well, think of your spinal column as like a bicycle inner tube. And imagine we've got it blown up here. If we take a traditional needle and poke it in there, what's gonna happen? It's gonna cut as it goes in, and it's gonna make a small hole, but we're gonna have potentially a small leak. Well, think about it. The smaller the needle, the less chance of a leak. So if you used a pencil and you poked it in there and it's as small as a 25 gauge needle and you pulled it back out, it's gonna seal over and you're not gonna get a leak. So our anesthesiologists are really good at doing that with a 25 gauge needle. It's tough to do. So just remember when you have a spinal, it is different than having the uh, epidural. It's a lot less involved. It's much quicker. And with our anesthesiologist, it works awesome for our laparoscopic outpatient hysterectomies. Thank you for joining us.